diagnostic accuracy of dual NHGCT in the assessment of traumatic bone marrow edema of lower limb and its correlation with MRI. Bone marrow edema is assumed to be caused as a result of trabecular macrofracture. It is responsible for pain even in the absence of substantial soft tissue injuries. Bone marrow edema remains undetected in radiographs. On MRI, marrow edema is seen as an area of signal loss on T1-weighted image involving bone with increased signal intensity on T2-weighted uh, and uh, short to inversion recovery images. Despite MRI being the most widely known technique for assessment of bone marrow edema, in conditions where MRI is contraindicated or inaccessible, uh, bone marrow edema remains undetected and undiagnosed for ear interfering with overall, overall healing and rehabilitation of patient. Fortunately, dual, dual energy CT has emerged as a viable alternative in such situation as DECT make attenuation measurements at two voltage 80 and 140 kV that can be subjected to three material decomposition, allowing for Math, uh, mathematic subtraction of substances with relevant photograph electric effects such as iodine or calcium. The same technique is used to calculate a virtual non-calcium image from an unenhanced image, which make bone marrow accessible for CT diagnosis. Despite the promising role of DECT in the assessment of bone marrow edema in general and traumatic bone marrow edema in particular, there have been limited clinical studies evaluating its usefulness. Considering this gap, our study was planned to assess the diagnostic accuracy of DECT in detecting bone marrow edema in patient of trauma of lower limb and co its correlation it with MRI. Aim to assess the diagnostic accuracy of dual energy CT in detecting bone marrow edema in patient of trauma of lower limb and is correlated with MRI. Objective to assess bone marrow edema on DECT and MRI to compare their diagnostic accuracies in assessing bone marrow edema. A uh, cross-section study was conducted on 40 patients over a period of 18 months. Patients irrespective of sex, age 18 to 17 years with lower extremity trauma, trauma and suspected fracture were included in the study. Pregnant females patients with metallic implant were excluded from the study. For all patients with lower extremity trauma, CT examination were conducted using a dual energy CT system equipped with two X-ray tubes. Acquisition of the injured knee, ankle, joint images were performed with dual energy protocol. The dual energy CT examination parameters were as follow. Tube A, tube uh, voltage of 80 kV, difference current time product of 20 to 50 mA second. Tube B is like 140 kV with uh, where SN indicate the use of integrated tin filter. Difference current time product of 150 mA second. Uh, 1 to 8, 0 0.6 uh, mm collimation, 0 0.6 pitch, 0 0.5 second rotation time. IV contrast material were not used in each patient. All the images were post processed on a workstation using single wire software that allow analysis of image using three material decomposition. It acquires the attenuation measurement from two different KV setting and calculate a virtual non calcium image using a three material decomposition method. To further improve the assessment of the marrow space, a special filter technique, the selective photoshield is also applied. VNC image were presented in the form of color-coded image. Axial sage and coronal multiplanar color-coded reformation were all created for further assessment and analysis. The information was color-coded with color lookup table which code bone marrow edema in shades of gray, yellow to orange and red, parallel to the progressive increase of the density. 3D volume rendering map coding bone marrow edema in short of green, normal, bone in blue were used. After initial CT MRI of the affected part was performed. The examination were performed with MRI system using uh, Hitachi using the dedicated coil for knee and ankle. The site was evaluated with T1 weighted uh, images and star images. All images were analyzed on a workstation using software that allow for three-dimensional reconstruction and measurement. Bone marrow edema was identified as per protocol described by uh, at L. Using up, uh, upon a DECT image analysis, dual energy color coded regions were evaluated whether edema existed in the bone marrow edema or not. If edema existed in the bone marrow, it displayed in the green or yellow on the dual energy color coded images. Then the circular region of interest over each region on the dual energy color coded image and in the adjacent region. The ROI were placed at the location of highest edema intensity, which was green or yellow on the color coded images, to obtain attenuation value. 
MRI finding were considered as final. On analysis of the MRI images, the diagnosis of bone marrow edema was based on the signal intensity increase in the STIR and T2 images with the signal decay on T1 weighted images. All the observations were made by three observers. Final observation was made when there was an agreement of two or more observers. Uh, result in our study, 40, patient, 40 patients with lower limb trauma and suspected fracture were analyzed. In majority of the cases, we encountered trauma and fracture on a knee joint at the time gap between injury and DCT range from 16 to 24 days. In the present study, three patients, 7.5% had ankle injury while remaining 37, like around 92.5% patient has had knee injury. Incidentally, knee injuries were predominant. In this study, mean attenuation at fracture site was observed as a 170.75 plus minus 33.99. HU, while the same at the adjacent side was observed at 19.73 plus minus 22.50 HU. The difference in the attenuation at fracture site and adjacent site among the patients enrolled in the study was found to be 151.03 plus minus 35.03, which was considered statistically significant. Subject to interpretation by DECT based on attenuation found bone marrow edema in 45% cases, while the rest of the cases no edema was found. On MRI evaluation, bone marrow edema was found to be present in 42.5% cases only while the rest of the cases edema was not found. Both DECT and MRI indicate presence of edema in 16 out of 17 cases whereas the CCT indicate edema in 2 cases that was not indicated by MRI. Sensitivity, specificity, PPV and non-PV on DECT against MRI for detection of bone marrow edema was found to be 94.1. 91.3, 88.9, and 95.5 respectively. Diagnostic accuracy of DECT against MRI was found to be 92.5. Among the 17 cases in which MRI indicate the presence of edema, the attenuation of DECT was higher as compared to 23 cases where MRI indicate no edema. Difference in uh, attenuation among cases where MRI indicated edema or no edema was found to be statistically significant. This is the area of bone marrow edema. Here you can see in the CT, a plain CT in SAG image, there is uh, like a little hyper density can be seen. In the area of bone marrow edema, the green signal can be seen. On MRI, the low density signal, uh, low intensity signal can be seen. Here same in the coronal section. Discussion, traumatic bone injuries are not just limited to bone fractures or soft tissue injuries but they have impacted on bone marrow too. The bone marrow edema pattern represents a footprint of injury mechanism, improved diagnostic confidence in the detection of concomitant injuries. In recent years, dual energy uh, computer tomography has emerged as a promising alternative for assessment of post-traumatic bone marrow edema with encouraging accuracy. In this study, we used the dual energy CT virtual non-calcium technique to assess bone marrow with a MRI imaging serving as a standard of reference. Because of the ability of DECT to subtract calcium from cancellous bone, it was able to depict bone marrow edema. In present study, a significant difference of 15.58 uh, 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 in a mean HU unit was uh, between fracture site and adjacent site, thus reflecting a possibility of bone marrow edema. In the present study, out of 14 patients, it in, uh, were found to have bone marrow edema, whereas bone marrow edema was detected in 17 cases by MRI. The findings suggest that DECT has higher positive uh, T rate as compared to MRI. As far diagnostic efficacy of DECT against MRI was concerned, the present study found DECT to be 94.1% sensitive, 91.3% specific, and reported it, uh, a positive predictive and negative predictive value of DECT as 88.9 and 95.5 respectively. There was substantial agreement between DECT and MRI. In this present, present study, we conclude three observers and took the observation made by two or more observers as the final observation. We achieved a more objective assessment which proved out to be more sensitive and specific. Conclusion, the present study showed that CD, DECT is a useful method for evaluation of traumatic lower extremity fracture for presence of bone marrow edema. The finding of the present study endorsed the findings of previous study that have also showed that DECT can use an alternative to MRI for evaluation of traumatic injury suspected for bone marrow edema. Addition, of DECT as alternative will help in providing additional tool where MRI facilities contraindicated and could reduce the long-term burden of bone marrow edema. Further studies to validate the finding of the present study are recommended. Thank you.